Nothing much here, a couple of older Hina tracks. Well, there's not even a lot of tracks from animals drinking in the last day or two. No elephant tracks here either. It just means they're so much closer to getting back here again. Feels like we're looking for a bit of a ghost. We know this leopard was seen. She's somewhere around this area, but um, not a track, nothing. But it's part of the fun. We just drove up to a leopard every day. Leopard would get boring. I promise you, we are going to find her. Hopefully today. Otherwise, in the next few days. But still got a strong feeling we might get her today. She's somewhere around here. It's just a matter of checking all the possibilities and then checking them again until we find them. Another beautiful herd of Impala. Amazing to notice just in the last week how their condition, how this condition has improved. Suddenly, just having so much good food around, you can really see it in the animals how they're looking, and also most of these females are obviously quite far pregnant. We'll start seeing some of the lambs within the next couple of weeks, early next month. So that also fills them out. See so all the bellies nice and tight. Very exciting time when the impala start lambing because you see so many young animals, just big, I'm just going to say flocks of them, really big herds or creches, all the young ones tend to hang around in groups together, especially when they're really small. You see some beautiful sights with them. This female has found herself a very good vantage point. I don't know what she's looking at. She's looking far in the distance towards the sort of northwest. Obviously not something too serious. She's happy to look back at us. Love them. Such beautiful antelope. Paula, unfortunately, because there's so many of them, yeah, this one, they're quite common in the area. People tend to overlook them sometimes, but they really are one of the most beautiful antelope out here. But of course, the fact that you always see them in such large numbers also adds to the to the spectacle of it. <coughs> trying to do the impossible a bit this afternoon. I'm trying to. I think a leopard that we don't even have tracks of and maybe I should forget about her a little bit and just enjoy the scenery out here, it really is stunning. So we're going to put her just to the back of our head for a bit, pretend we've forgotten about the leopard and maybe that way she'll just pop out for us. Let's just enjoy the bush. Beautiful view, a couple of big knob thorns on the left here. due west at the moment. Very important for me that we remember this is one of the reasons we're out here as well, just to enjoy this, the beauty of the place. Of course the tree would look better if there was a leopard lying in one of the branches, but <laughs> next time.
Elephant! This spot him is quite far into the bush there. We'll make our way in and spend some time with the big jumbo. Quite a few, looks like at least three bulls that we can see so far. Something else that's interesting as well is we're very close to where we had those lions the other day on the buffalo kill. I mean, these elephants keep moving the way they are. They're going to um, go past that carcass. Obviously, there'll still be a very strong scent of lions there, and it might create a bit of curiosity for them. <laughs> 